Hi Scorpio, how are you guys? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome to your weekly Twin Flame Love and Romance reading. Guys, thanks so much for being here. Um, if you guys want your messages from your person readings for March 2020, please remember that we are playing the likes game. So the higher the likes, the um, higher up on the list you'll be for this week. And the more likely you'll get your reading this week. Every sign does not get their reading every month, okay? So um, I think Taurus was the highest so far. So Taurus is ranking up there again, okay? So feel free if you want to get your messages from your person readings. And also if you like these readings and you just, you know, let me know you like them. You can feel free to like these videos, okay? And then also... Thank you to all you guys who support the channel and who have been really sweet and kind to me. Thank you for your sweet, kind words. You guys, if you don't want to miss these weekly readings and you want to see them every time they're uploaded, remember to subscribe to the channel. And then it'll just be uploaded to your subscriber feed. Alright, so everybody, I believe I've gotten that all out of the way. Now I just want to say with these readings, these are Twin Flame readings about your Twin Flame connection. So if you are single and you don't have anybody in your life right now and you don't have or you've never met your twin flame then if you found this channel it means you're about to meet your twin flame okay so that is amazing and exciting and so these readings are for you whether you're single or you're coupled or you're um you know in separation from your twin flame a lot of people are in separation from their twin flame in some way shape or form then these readings you know should resonate with you okay and they will resonate with you so now that we've gotten that all out of the way scorpio let's get started i'm going to start with the fortune cards okay scorpio you guys are getting to a blissful place in your connection this week some of you guys are going on vacation with your person or just going on vacation period this week. Okay? Taking a break from work, resting, relaxing. This person is going through having a financial windfall of an inheritance, a property. They could just even be winning the lottery or winning something in particular. So this person is winning something in their life and this is impacting this connection because it's bringing money to you guys. And you guys are taking a break. You guys are going on a vacation. A much needed vacation. Long awaited vacation. Some of you guys going away on vacation this week. You're going to meet your twin flame on vacation. Okay. If you're taking a break from work this week. You know. You're just going to take some time off. You're going to meet your twin flame. While you're taking time off. And just. You know. Minding your business. Living your life. Going about your business. On your week off, you could run into your twin flame. And perhaps this person, you know, you're going to meet them because this person is possibly... I'm seeing somebody on a cruise, like on a ship. And then this person is talking about how they received an inheritance. They got a windfall. And then that's how you know that that's the person. Okay? And then that's just a sign. Someone here that already happened to them. Okay, so I see you guys holding on to this person. I feel like there's this energy of like, um, it's very heavy and dark but it's this energy of like not it's not even not feeling good enough this is very deep okay someone is going through some deep stuff so you guys are holding on to your person and kind of staying off on your own guarded off clinging to them it's like you guys are going to be doing stuff this week to separate yourself and separate this connection from anybody who isn't in this connection. Oh. 
So you're going to be going extra hard to cut ties or separate yourself from people who aren't in your connection, okay? Like, I just see you guys being very, like, I don't want to say rabid, but kind of rabid about not letting certain folks in and safeguarding your energy, but it's like just cl closing yourself off, no new friends. Like, I feel like you guys might have somebody who's trying to be a new friend or perhaps someone who was a friend, you know, they were causing you guys to let go of each other, you know, but it feels like, you know, this might not have even happened. You know, this might be something that you're afraid of happening. Some of you guys, it did already happen. But I just see you guys, like, protecting your connection. Especially physically, the time. You know, not giving time, energy, attention, not, none of that stuff to anybody outside of this connection. Just giving it to your person and being very stingy about it. And it's like you guys have a solid foundation with your person already. And, you know, within yourself, but with this person, you have a solid foundation with them in some way, shape, or form. <sighs> Sorry, you guys. Um, it's like you have a solid foundation with them, but there's just, like, someone or some people who keep on trying to come inside. And you guys are not letting that happen anymore. So this person, they're walking away from a bad habit. This person has bad associations. <laughs> they have bad friends. You know, they have bad karma. This person has, they have bad, um, uh, you know, st stifled emotions. This person is a mess. They're a basket case. And this person is moving away from that. This person is ailing as well. This person, like, they, your person here that you're asking about, they have, they have come up against something or someone too pure for them to go up against, okay? And so they're realizing that they can't play those same silly games with purity and divinity, okay? They were not looking at you and dealing in this connection in a pure way. They were very karmic. They were just trying to keep everybody stuck because they were afraid to confront their own emotions and to go after whatever they really wanted. And this person is walking away from that bad habit and from monotony, from just being annoying this person is annoying the people who love this person the most suffer the most behind this person and they're walking away from that just being that way you know <laughs> we could look at why it's because this person they could be receiving an inheritance i also feel like they dealt with somebody who is very pure yourself this person this person they got queened by you or if this person is a divine feminine, they realize that they are just needing to just be a divine feminine and stop being trash. This person is so trash sometimes. And then they got craziness in their life because they were being trash. And now this person is going to stop being this way because they're going to start to embrace divinity. This person is so stupid. It's like they don't embrace divinity and they don't embrace everything about life. And then they pull up on niggas that do and then try to devastate them down when they fully embrace stuff about life. So then this person, they got thwarted down and they're looking at an inheritance. I feel like this is this. Some of you guys are dealing with somebody who's like, I'm hearing late stages of their life. So they're in like a late stage of their life. It feels like this person kind of like went through an experience where they realized that they just that nobody can mess with them, but they really can't mess with certain folks. And this person, who cares about why they, who cares? Who cares? They're just going to stop doing that. And this person is coming away from connections that are superfluous. It's like this person deals with, because they don't like confronting their emotions and going after what they really desire, what their heart really desires, they connect with these disgusting broads and disgusting men that are so lackluster and low down and this person is just realizing that they're amazing and that they need to just see their worth but in there because they because they refuse to see their worth and because they refuse to see that there is a higher calling to life this person they don't believe in god and then they try to thwart down people who believe in god so then they have near-death experiences constantly because they try to thwart people who believe in god down and make them not want to live no more. So then God just tries to kill this person. <laughs> this person is so stupid. And, and and they connect with fools and buffoons. This person is such a buffoon. But they're embracing that you're a divine feminine. You're their divine feminine. And that's it. Because this person, they have irritating tendencies. 
And that's why, you know, that could be why this person's coming towards you. Because they're this week, they're going to bring you a new beginning in love, okay? Because I'm just like, ugh, we could go off on this person forever, and then we know we 10 minutes in. But this person, they're bringing you a new beginning in love, okay? They want to say sorry and just be different and be loving and sweet and stuff, whatever. But I feel like this person, they have the revolving, they have revolving door. This is a revolving door thing. They're going to try again to break out of this bad habit. But it's because this person is trying to embrace themselves more fully. And it's because this person sees you as their divine feminine. So they're going to try to break out of this bad habit. So they're bringing you a new beginning in love. Okay? This is so strange. This new beginning in love, it's, a, it's about a life change. It's like this person, they want to move on things in life. They want to move out of one phase that you guys have been in. They want to finally get things going. Okay? In a big way. In every way. This person also is bringing you a new beginning love. And this is also about something that you've been waiting for. This is something, I feel like there's something you guys have been working on together that has been filled with delays and frustration. And this person, they want to bring you a new beginning in love about that. That's so weird. And then this person, they also want to bring you, a, this new beginning in love is also about, you know, some sort of secret situation you guys are dealing with on the low. It feels like you got, you guys are dealing with something heavy. You know, this person is dealing with something heavy, you know, because they put you through something crazy or they're dealing with something heavy, you know, and you're dealing with it too. And this person, they want to bring you a new beginning in love, you know, and apologize about this, apologize for bringing in frustrations and try to move things along. And this person, they want to make, you know, they want you to trust them. You know, this person is trying to be more trustworthy, but it's like this person just feels like nobody will ever trust them. And they feel like you will never trust them because this person they just keep on showing up this way this person understands that they're so draining and exhausting and devastating to be around they understand that okay and it's because this person they've they've had another near-death experience they've had another experience where they were confronted by the angel of truth and that they're the problem they had an, another experience where they're the problem in your life and in a lot of people's lives. This person is a blockage in everybody's life, bro. And so this person, they got a new offer, okay? They're taking up a new offer. They're getting grounded and taking up a new beginning in life to just be realistic. And this person is realizing that they can't be in everybody else's way and also keep their life. This person has been struggling with heavy shit and it's because they're in everybody's way. They're in everybody's way. Because this person, they never want to they never want to follow their dreams. And then they have a bunch of dreamers around them. And they want to thwart them down. And so this person, they just end up going through something that makes them feel like they can't dream. Even more and even more and even more. This person's so annoying. And I feel like you guys are just holding on to this person. You're protecting them. I do feel like you're not letting people crap on them. But I do feel like the situation that this person keeps on getting involved in is so exhausting. They keep on doing this to you and everybody else is what I'm hearing. Yes. And it's like so compulsive. It's so, it's like, just go get on medication already. You're exhausting. But you guys will never let go of this person. And it's like, you know, no one's telling you that you're supposed to. So I'm just reading on the feelings what it feels like to be near this person, what it feels like to be connected to this person. It's it's painful. This person is painful to be with. They're painful. Okay? And this person here, they're just getting grounded. They got a new offer. They got a new chance at life. Okay? They're seeing that they are being offered some new... They, this is also an inheritance. This person receiving some sort of windfall, you know? And now they're having a new beginning. This person is like so... Annoying. It's like this person is like trying to steal somebody else's windfall, inheritance. It's like this person, I just like, they're so annoying. They're so annoying. This person's having a new beginning in love. Especially if this person is like backstabbing pers a person or people or even you. They have gone through something so devastating. Okay? Your person here that you're asking about, if this person wronged you and hurt you, they, I'm hearing that's why they're dying. Okay? This person stabbed you in the back. That's why they're going through that. This person, they're so... They've hurt so many people. They just keep on hurting people. Mm. And now they're going through something that's making them want, have a new beginning in love. And this, this is something that's frustrating for them. 
you know, they bring about frustrations and delays and make people have to be patient and plan and do all this extra stuff and be mad covert, especially like, and they make people's, when people invest efforts and invest into things, they, this person thwarts down people's physical investments. So they're dealing with something that they physically invested into and not growing, being thwarted down. And this person is dealing with it and they're having a new beginning in love around this. And it's like, this person's so annoying. They're such a manipulator, a liar, a gaslighter, a betrayer. They split everybody in half. And now they're dealing with something inside of them that they know why they got it. <laughs> and they can't get rid of it. Because that's what happens when you split everybody in half. Okay? And you get some crazy shit that's going to make you split in half from your body. Type shit before you even know. You don't even understand. Because there's not a lot of answers. There's not a lot of people who can tell you about what this is. Because... This is a disease or whatever this is. This is something that there's no cure. If this person is sick, they're sick with something that's no cure. <laughs> um, I remember uh, something happened to me, and this card came up, and it was a, it was a, like a something like viral. It was like very skinny, a skin thing. And do you know that there was no cure for it? I just had to wait it out and the situation, but it was benign. It was something that was so. It's, nobody knows how you get it. Nobody knows how, when it goes. It's such a weird thing that I got. And that this person, they have something so weird. But it's like, it might be telling them that shit is going to go awry in their life. This person, they're just realizing that you're right. And that you're right. And they just like to go against you. And now they're devastated down. Okay. So for you, you guys are following your heart in this connection and in your life this week. I feel like you just have done battle with this situation and with this person. You guys are following your heart. You guys are definitely coming in, like, expressing yourself fully. And this is when it comes to how you feel about this person. You guys are going to be really open to expressing yourself to this person and really open about hearing this person out and moving things along. And you guys are also dealing with a water sign man who is loving and sweet as well this week. Helping you to um, get back your trust and faith in the unknown. I feel like you guys feel this amazing, immaculate pull to be with this person, to celebrate with this person, celebrate about having this person, and yeah, celebrate this person, like I said, and to also have a reunion. And it's because you guys are accepting the offer that Spirit is giving you. I feel like you guys are kind of depressed with things, the way things are going in your life, or with because something that was causing you major depression, the real source of your depression, left your life but you kind of felt like you just want the universe to give you another of that same cup when the universe is offering you something else that's actually what you want and so that's the reason why you're feeling like you want to express your love to them and you know you have a, you know celebrate and be happy it's because this is the love the offer of love that the universe was always giving you that you didn't see before and neither did this person now we got the divine masculine card here um because this person is your divine masculine okay so whether or not you're the man or you're the woman, um, there's a divine feminine energy, divine masculine energy, okay? If you're a man here or you're a divine masculine energy, you tune into it more, which, you know, most times it's men that tune into this energy more. You, you guys are following your heart because that's what you need to do in order to be with this person, okay? That's what you're feeling guided to do because that's what you need to do. That's when you feel a pull to be in a certain way that might be kind of paternal or it might be kind of like overprotective or whatever. Show up like big brother, big whatever. It's because that's divine masculine energy moving through you to safeguard your connection. And when you don't act on it, then you get thwarted down, period. So this person, they're accepting a new beginning in love that they had and that they have with you because they feel it, because their feelings of love for you are flowing through because... A burden that was stressing them out has been exposed. It's been exposed that they're their own burden, okay? And they just feel grateful. They feel like you're a blessing to them. This person is, is investing into you again. There's something, an investment here that is so, this person is so annoying. And it's, every time I, to, I get to this energy, I get so annoyed. This person is so annoying. Um, and this person is trusting their intuition. They're so annoying. Like, and I'm not here to throw this person away. It's just like, they are so annoying. They're such a revolving door. And then when they're being terrible, it's like everybody sees it coming and everybody's telling this person that they're about to be terrible. And then they just go ahead and be terrible. 
and then they want to sit there and be like, I'm sorry, whatever. Fuck them. I don't know. I'm not your twin flame. So, um, you know, but I feel like if I knew this person, I wouldn't have them in my life anymore. But that's your twin flame. So I don't have a mean comment to make about your twin flame. And I'm sorry if you took that as mean. I'm not trying to be mean to you guys. I just am feeling what this person does. It's, it's It would be worthy of a leg. It would be worthy of them losing a leg. Because they have done so many things. To, they have thwarted and put so many people in devastation. This person is so annoying. So this person is growing the fuck up. Okay? They were sending, and their attention isn't even on this connection. This person's attention is not on the connection. They're such a devastated human being. This person is growing up and realizing they need to think about their relationship. They don't think about their relationship when they're thwarting everybody down. They're not thinking about their twin flame journey. They're so stupid. This person is growing up. Because that's where, because, because they're following their heart. Because that's where, because they want to follow their heart. Their heart is moving them. The love in their body and in their life, their life is moving them towards love, okay? And um, this is this is an action that they want to take. So this person, they might not tra trap their energy, but they trap their emotions, okay? And um, it's like this person, they just want to have love in their life. And so they're growing up. This week, this person is ascending out of a bad pattern. They're ascending out of a cycle of never being focused on the love that's around them. And thus creating a family of people who are not focused on love and who throw away love or who have lost loves of their lives that they never wanted to lose. But they lost it because of this person. Like this person is dealing with something that they cannot come back from because they have no idea how much they took from others. This person took so much from other people and they got the rundown in the recent past when they sat in a doctor's office. So this person here, they became committed to you. They became committed to safeguarding the energy. Stop cheating and stuff like that. Stop sleeping with everybody. Stop laying down with every broad. Like this person has such low self-esteem and then they got schooled on having low self-esteem. And it's because this person, they dealt with somebody who told them the truth. They got a diagnosis. Okay. This person loves to mess around on you. They got a diagnosis. And it's the reason why the diagnosis is so severe is because they wouldn't stop. They have an addiction, and then they just thwart everybody down. This person has been, this person has been dealing with frustrations, okay? And the only frustration that they deal with is just having peace of mind and just minding their business. That is the only thing that they struggle with is minding their business. They don't have frustrations like other people where it's like, oh, I have this boss. He's a dick. He's on my back. Da 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 da. Their frustrations, they're the, they're the boss that's the dick on everybody's back. Their only frustration is just closing their eyes and meditating and stop getting involved in everybody's life. Now they don't have a life no more. This person, they were frustrated about, you know, peace of mind. This person is such an unrested human being. They were frustrated about their person, their, ha their family. Their family that's happy, their happy family was frustrating them. And also the fact that they just needed to safeguard their mind, embrace their happy family, and stop, you know, dumping and littering all over themselves. So maybe they'll stop dumping and littering all over others. This person had a job to nurture others and they failed. Okay? Period. They had a job and they failed at it. And when you fail at a job, you get fired. You understand? This person is getting fired Trump style. But God is Trump. So this person... They were dealing with frustrations and bringing about frustrations in this connection because they had a fated event take place in their life where they got fired. Some of them got laid off. Some of them, they retired. And, you know, they've just been living on a stifled a certain income that's smaller. Um, this person, they had to downsize. But they had a fated event where they just had to be thankful for what they had and see that they're fine on their own because they had an event take place in the distant past. Some of you guys, your person lost their job. Because, you know, this person, they can't mind their business. They can't mind their business. They learned a lesson in the recent past about being a father and being and being somebody, a protector. This person is pathetic, okay? They, they do pathetic things. What's on their mind this week, though, is that they want a new beginning with you, okay? They want a new beginning to stop lying to you every five minutes. <laughs> what else? To, to stop lying to you every five minutes and splitting you up at the same time and then bringing you chaos and destruction and bullshit every 10 seconds. 
and they want a new beginning and this new beginning this new beginning would be about this relationship and it would be about connecting emotionally right this is what this new beginning is supposed to be about and that's what's on their mind they're getting a new chance at you they're getting a new chance to stop lying and to mind their business and to focus on this relationship <laughs> and that's what they're thinking about this week because that's what they're working on finally finally they don't have the angel of strength showing up here even though they've had all these things going on that they could just you know the angel of strength would just show up and make a way for this person to come out of the situation but you know why the angel of strength isn't here for them because they weaken so many people that they're gonna have to do that shit on their own period point blank Ooh wait this person is going through something where they're gonna have to do it on their own type shit you know what i'm saying because they thwarted down too many folks they're getting a new beginning okay and it's on their mind because they're working on it because this is a new chance this is a golden opportunity from the universe they had something crazy take place in their life someone threw a nasty lawsuit on your person someone else's person is what i'm hearing threw a nasty lawsuit on your person okay and it's because your your person was messing in their family okay that's what happens this person was trying to ruffle up somebody else's family and he forgot about his own family this type of person is so annoying they brought nothing but this person and that's why you went into it that's why you got devastation too scorpio because if you had kids with this person you dragged your kids into that you forgot you gave birth to people you selfish scorpio slut sorry no offense you gave birth to people and they have memories now because you brought that man into their life or that woman into their life you didn't protect them so now you're dealing with devastation period because you wanted to be their god remember when they were being who they were and then and then you were telling them not to to listen to you and that they should listen to you only you they believed you and then you failed them so then you also got a failed diagnosis the blood test failed the blood work failed but I thought that your kids were failures. <laughs> I thought it was just your kids that are failures. No, you guys are having a heavy moment take place in your life. You guys are dealing with heavy ass shit. You guys are dealing with some heavy shit. Okay? Some of you guys, you know, maybe you didn't you didn't have kids with this person. That's the reason why. You know, if you guys are with your twin flame and you guys are younger or, you know, it's not really, you know, you're having a lot of issues right now, even though you're young, it's for the sake of your kids. It's so your kids don't have the kind of childhood that you had. Okay. So thank God, because some people, they were fake. Some people were fake and they pretended like they didn't have feelings and then they have kids, but those kids, were, it's like they didn't have them. You know what I'm saying? This person is dealing with a situation that is fraught with deception. Whatever the situation is, because they're annoying, it is fraught with deception. Filled with it. No matter what they're saying, they're dealing with so much deception right now. This person is looking back to the past and, and wishing they had the past again and wanting to rekindle things with you. And I'm hearing the kids. So this person, they're going to have muddled, unclear thinking this week. They're a mess. And this person, they're going to have success, though. Okay? They're going to get some success this week. They're having muddled, unclear thinking about this connection. Someone is going out of their life. A situation is ending in this person's life. It needs to end. Whoever this person that's going out of their life, they need to go. They need to go. Because this person, they have karmics, 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 karmics everywhere. There's all these karmics all around your person. It's like Chama's not here to get the lip balm for me. I have to get up and I can't pause it. So many karmics. They're dealing with, and they're going out of this person's life. So this person, they are in a maze, okay? They've been in a maze. They're going out of this maze this week and stepping into anxiety. <laughs> they have so much anxiety about this connection. They be giving their power away to outside institutions, okay? But this person has a lot of passion for you. And this person, they're going to finally surmount a challenge.